forced air ventilation. Confined spaces usually have limited entry and exit points which make it difficult for fresh air to naturally push out and replace the contaminated atmosphere. While atmospheric changeover might eventually occur, it would take a long time. Therefore, to speed up the process of replacing contaminated air with fresh air, forced air ventilation or mechanical ventilation is often used in confined spaces. There are two types of forced air ventilation positive pressure ventilation, and negative pressure ventilation. In case of positive pressure ventilation, air is blown into the confined space, forcing the contaminated air out so that uncontaminated air can move in and replace it. Positive pressure ventilation also does a good job of scouring into hidden nooks and crannies, to make sure no contaminated air is hiding in such places. Negative pressure ventilation is the opposite of positive pressure ventilation. In this case, air is pulled out of the confined space with the aid of a fan, creating negative pressure. As the contaminated air is pulled out, fresh air from the outside will rush in to replace it. It is important to understand that if the contaminated atmosphere is flammable, using negative pressure ventilation may create a danger of fire or explosion. This is because, most high-capacity exhaust fans, are powered by an internal combustion engine. Which greatly increases, the chances of ignition, as the contaminated air moves through the fan.